So what is spaghetti code? Spaghetti code is, at the end of the day, simply very, 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 very ugly code. If you program, you code, you write a script in PHP or JavaScript or Java, the thing is you can have it run perfectly. It does everything that it's supposed to do. You have zero problems executing the code. The issue is when people open up the code, if they want to modify it in the future or if they want to audit the code to make sure the code is doing what it's supposed to be doing, they open up the code and when they look at it, it looks absolutely horrible horrible. Basically, people people open up your, your source files, they start trying to read the code, and they literally can't make heads or tails of what it is that you're trying to do. It's important to understand with spaghetti code, it works fine. The functions work, the variable works, everything works, uh, actually puts out the, 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 the output that it's supposed to output, but when somebody goes in to try to take a look at it, it can be confusing as hell. Why this is a problem is many people that are developing code, especially when they're new, or especially when they're developing projects that they honestly don't think will last a long time, right? There's all these little projects out there. You think, hey, I'm going to create a little inventory database system for, for you know, the, the desktop computers in our company, but I'm not going to use it for anything else. Or I'm going to build a website for something in the company, but we're not going to use it for anything else. The problem is, many times, is you develop the, this little project, you, you write out this little bit of code, and then it works surprisingly well. And since it works surprisingly well, then more people start using it and more people start using it and more people start using it. And all of a sudden, you you know, this little project that you had that you really didn't think many people were going to use, now it's starting to get such a resource load on it. You have to go in, you have to optimize it, you have to bring in other people to add functionality to the code. And the problem is, is that if you have spaghetti code, essentially nasty, ugly looking code, when other people try to go and take a look at the code that you've written in order to modify it or audit or audit it or do anything else, when they sit there and they try to look at the code, they won't be able to make heads or tails of it. This is one of the things with, with coding, with programming, when you have hundreds or possibly thousands of lines of code, it is very difficult to read. It's not, it's not like a book. Imagine, imagine if you had a book or a Shakespearean play. And you had all the words and all the paragraphs, but then you just kind of swapped paragraphs and words around, right? Hey, we'll just put we'll just put the end paragraph and the beginning and the beginning paragraph in the middle and kind of put all these different words around. Well, when you're reading a play or when you're reading a book then that becomes a worthless book because you don't understand what you're reading. The problem is, is in the, the coding world, the programming world, you can do that and the computer can actually still read it fine. The computer can still actually give you an output. The problem is, is when humans go in to try to figure out what the hell it is that you did, they're just going to be looking at this, this complete and utter mess. So that's when you hear about using the proper syntax, whether to use spaces, whether to use tabs, whether or not you comment everything. So you'll hear good co uh, uh, coders uh, have a lot of comments. So comments say, this is what this function is supposed supposed to do. Uh, putting variables in the right place. So when you set uh, declare variables, when you set variables, technically you can do that in a lot of weird ways. That'll work just fine. The problem is, is when you have somebody coming in to look at the code after you're done, they may not know what's going on. It may be very, very hard to go through and try to read what's going on with the code, especially if somebody has to go in and start making modifications. So when you hear about spaghetti code, basically what this is, is it's just ugly, 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 nasty code that does work. It works. It works. But it's, it's horrible to try to read. This is one of the things where you'll hear with a programming language called PHP and why many coders absolutely hate PHP. The cool part about PHP is that it's very hard to break. It's a very robust programming language. It's simple, it's essentially, you can program almost any way that you want to program. PHP was originally developed uh, as a programming language for things like secretaries. Literally, the idea being because it can connect to databases, it can connect to files, you can do outputs, you can do a lot of these email stuff. Again, a lot of basically like secretarial type tasks. So the idea with PHP is that it was so easy 
easy and so robust, uh, a secretary could literally learn it and then they could do their own email blasts or they could build their own little databases based off of what they need. The problem with it is, is when a programming language is so simple, even a secretary can do it, uh, secretaries can code, you know, code that works, but many times it's horribly, horribly, horribly ugly. <laughs> trying to go back through and look at 200 lines of code that somebody just kind of copy pasted slap dash together and you're going in trying to figure out what's supposed to be happening can be a real pain so that's one of the reasons why you'll hear a lot of people hate php one of the reasons they hate php is because you can code php any old which way and it will work even if you have absolutely no idea what any of this stuff says. And so that's all that spaghetti code is. If you are going to be a coder, it's very important to understand, basically from the beginning, that you should start coding with the proper syntax from day one. You should comment your projects from day one. A lot of people think, well, I'll learn functions and I'll learn variables and databases and all that, and then, and then I'll do syntax, and then I'll do commenting. But it's one of these things, you fight how you train, where how you train, how you learn, is how you will write code. If you get used to not using the proper syntax, if you get used to not using proper commenting, and so, so on and so forth, then when you get into the real world, you're gonna sit there and go, eh, you know what, ah, this little thing, this little module, this little plugin, it's 50 lines of code, it's 50 lines of code. I don't, I'll just slap this thing together, it'll be fine. Problem is, three years from now, somebody's gonna have to open up that 50 lines of code and figure out what the hell it is that you were talking about. And, uh, and that's just not a good thing to do to a fellow coder, to a fellow programmer. So that's all spaghetti code is. All spaghetti code is, is ugly, ugly, ugly code. That works, it does work. It is just ugly as hell to the point that many times other coders don't even know what the hell it is that you're trying to do. Uh, and so it's important to understand is don't write spaghetti code. Don't write spaghetti code.